What's going on guys? Coach Lance here with some tip for you. The tip today is pillaring. How to do it, how to utilize it, and what you can look for in the field of battle. Now this might be a really simple concept for most, but for some, it's like a whole new world. What you're going to look to do is use an obstacle most referred to as cover. Use that to your advantage. You don't want to be the guy standing out in the open and getting shot at while other people are behind cover, poking left side, right side, on the tempo they choose and shoot when they're ready. Now if you're the one going to be pillaring, you don't want to do it at a tempo the enemy can predict. That makes it basically to where you're not even pillaring at all. But if you alternate the tempo and use the obstacle to go left side, right side, whatever side, that gives you a distinct edge over the opposition. Now of course, in this here exercise is a very exaggerated isolation of events. In the fire of combat, people are going to go all over the place. It's like a hell storm of chaos out there. But hopefully these explanations give you some kind of idea of what to look for when you're out there in the fray. Here's an example of how Ninja 12 Coco is not properly utilized in pillaring. He pokes and appears when he's not ready to shoot back at me as a free kill for myself. But now I quickly and immediately utilize pillaring to shoot down Los Angeles, firing every time I'm ready to fire, which caused him to go on the retreat and I pick off the straggler. And yet, here's another example of when Los Angeles uses Pillarin, he realizes he's in a bad situation and uses his cover, the pillar he was hiding behind, to make an escape. Now, he wouldn't be able to do that if he was doing a live fire exchange with myself out in the open. So you can use Pillarin as a concept to either shoot at the enemy when you're ready to shoot, throw their shots off and their tempo off, know he can recover a little bit, reload maybe, while you're behind cover, and heck, if you're losing out of that gunfight somehow, you still have cover to get the heck out of Dodge. So don't be a doofus standing out in the open for no reason. Always look to cover to utilize for your advantage. But keep in mind, though, that the cover you're utilizing is out in the open itself, and it's a rather small cover, you're still basically a sitting duck. Much like you see with Ninja 12 Coco here, there's no way out for this man. You go left, right, it's still out in the open. His best bet is to sit behind that truck, and even then it gives me an advantage to push towards him. Which is another side tip for you today from Coach Landis, is always have your way out. Everybody always focuses on the way in for a kill, but always keep track of a way out. Hope this Coach Landis tip helped you today, maybe even tomorrow, maybe in the next day. As always, thank you for being you, and thanks for watching. This warlock has smaller tits than my ex-girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend had really small tits. Yeah, that's good information, I know. <laughs> I'm glad I'm recording totally this for right. YouTube. It's, uh, yeah, let's go, dude. You're totally cool. going to edit it out, just like you do for every other video. Uh-huh. Not this time. I feel time. like he's going to leave this part uncut. <laughs> Not like, oh. this time. <laughs> <laughs>